and 11. It's the first anniversary of the London Weekly newspaper, sponsored by Vitabionics, Salto and IEG Global. Now the London Weekly went live online last year on the 19th of December 2010. And the first issue went to print and hit the high streets in February, sorry, 2010. So our official website is thelondonweekly.co.uk. The London Weekly is now fully charging into the future with its launch of the London Weekly TV show, which is the Bulletin News show. The London Weekender, which is going to be a brand new annual um, music festival. And the first ever London Weekly Awards. So the London Weekly Awards, exactly, will now be the Premier Consumer Choice Awards show, celebrating the best attractions, products, services, and personalities, entertainment to combine all of London's best destinations in Europe. The public have been submitting their votes online for the nominations in 25 categories since February to October last year. And today we are proud to announce the winners of the various categories. <laughs> so the first category is the best estate agent. We have the nominees for the best estate agent are Foxton's, Right Smooth, Ludlow Thompson, Bushels, and Brinkley's. Thank you very much. And the winner for the best estate agent is. Rochelle. Thank you very much to everybody who voted for us. Um, I'm the lettings manager of the Acton branch in Bushels. I'm not sure if you're aware, but Bushels have uh, 11 branches um, across Western South London. And yeah, we're moving to new heights really. Um, opening a new office, hopefully in the next year or so. And thank you very much for everyone that voted for us. And um, obviously good luck to London Weekly. Thank you. <laughs> And the winner <laughs> for the best London attraction is Madame Tussauds and WR. Thanks very much. Don't suppose anybody in this room has been to Madame Tussauds since they were about four. Um, but you should get there. We've made a lot of changes in the last seven years. Brand new brand, totally interactive. To come along, bring your kids, bring your family. It's well worth it. We are now going to be talking about the nominees for the best London event and festivals. It's going to be London Fashion Week, the Wireless Festival, the London Marathon, the Chelsea Flower Show, and Notting Hill Carnival. And the winner, thank you, is the Notting Hill Carnival. Well, um, what can I say? Uh, it's an event that has many thousands of people who make it a success. So obviously thanks to all the carnivalists, thanks to all our main supporters and partners, uh, and thanks to everyone who, from the public who turned up and had a good time. And if there's any sponsors out there for this year, we're still looking for money because this year is going to be harder than ever. Thanks. Thank you very much. Our next presenter is a British Liberal Democrat politician who is a Member of Parliament in Wales from 1997 until 2010. So presenting the best high street bank is going to be Lembit Opic. Yeah. Hello. Um, it's better be the best bank. And uh, the, the uh, shortlist is Barclays, NatWest, Lloyd's TSB and Santander. The winner, winner is... Here it comes. The winner is Barclays. Yeah. Thank you, work. It's a shame he doesn't bank with Barclays. So uh, I'm the area director for West London, and um, Barclays is the go-to bank in the high street because we want to make our customer lives much easier. So let me let me give you my card before you go home for the right reason, ladies. Thank you very much. Up next, we have a 
a world class supermodel who's appeared in over 250 covers. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the best hotel category, please give it up for Caprice. I'm here to announce the winner of the best hotel category. And the winner is. The Mayfair Hotel. We just want to say thank you for the London Weekly and thank you very much. Everybody knows the Mayfair is the best hotel in London. We'll see you at the Mayfair Bar. Yay. Earlier on, I actually found out that I'm going to be taking part in a brand new reality TV series called Superstar Academy. It's a show that puts together journalists, TV presenters, PR executives, event managers, and more. To go through a list of high profile tasks each week, where the winner is voted at the end of the series. If you want to know more about Superstar Academy, please check out the website on www.thelondonweekly.co.uk. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we have reached the end of the evening. It's definitely been exciting and a fantastic show. I hope you've all enjoyed yourselves and we've been announcing the winners of this year's London Weekly Awards. It's celebrated its third anniversary. Please give a huge round of applause to our presenter, Natalie, this evening.